Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mansoor Arora from Lepton Software Solutions, and we welcome you all for today's webinar on my COVID risks a solution to find COVID risk for any location. We hope that everyone is safe and healthy. Thank you for joining us for this special session today. Since uh, looking at the present scenario, everybody would be working from home. The current scenario poses some tough challenges and questions, both personally and professionally, for every individual, especially to some businesses. Uh, not to some, but to every business. I hope we can provide an answer to them by the end of the session with a My COVID Risk Solution, which will help you in overcoming these challenges at your workplace. This session will be for 30 minutes, and we will have a QA session at the end of the presentation. I would request you all to kindly type your questions and queries in the Q&A window, and we will take them after the presentation is finished. Our speaker, speakers for the day is Mr. Ankush Vadwa and Mr. Pranav Kumar Anshu. Mr. Vadwa is the Senior Vice President at Lepton Software Solution, and he has over 10 years of experience in developing markets in new countries with specialization in strategy development and customer acquisition. Mr. Pranav is working with uh, Lepton as product manager, handling product roadmap for smart market solution, which is Lepton's flagship location intelligence platform. Now I would request Mr. Ankush to take the session forward with his presentation on the topic of today. Uh, Mr. Ankush, can you please present? Yeah, hi, Mansoor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can you confirm? Can you see my screen? Yes, we are able to see your screen and we are also able to hear you. Perfect. Thanks everybody for joining today. Uh, we all know it's kind of tough time for us being at home and I can predict everybody's working from home today, uh, managing our businesses and, and the situation that we are in. Uh, we have seen in the past, right? We all have been working from office, traveling multiple to multiple cities, multiple countries to make sure our business is running uh, and managing managing our customers' expectations. In the present scenario, because of what we are into, we are all working from home. And going forward, when we see future, uh, we have kind of mixed feelings in terms of how we are going to manage our work. We all know it will be mixed off work from home and you know limited movement to office. And similarly, uh, it will be a very restricted situation for our customers also. Uh, in in order for their movement or how we can plan to address those particular situations. Uh, before we get into detail, I'll I'll quickly run a video which will help you understand uh, this particular um, API and how this API can address the business problem, and then we can go into detail uh, after this. A single employee or associate with high COVID risk can risk closing down your business. Introducing my COVID risk a software solution to ensure your business continuity with zero COVID risk. An API that tracks quarantine and containment zones in real time. A must have and easy to integrate solution for manufacturing, retail, BPOs, delivery and logistics, transportation, and many more. Now you can identify employees living in or coming to work from quarantined areas. Proactively advise them to stay home accept or refuse orders or requests from customers in quarantine zones. Correct any routing or delivery schedules that pass through quarantine zones. You can use our software or use API to extend the functionality within your existing software, all in real time. Make your workplace safe and get your business on track like never before. My COVID risk, simple, quick, accurate well now with covid 19 in place a lot of industries have got impacted and various various activities have got affected we have seen a lot of delivery services being impacted whether they are courier services food delivery medicine which is quite crucial for most of us grocery which is part of essentials baby care, pet supplies, all these deliveries are being managed very differently as we are used to uh, having experienced this in, in past, just a couple of weeks back. Similarly, FMCG and retail industry 
uh, is managing this very differently. There are containment zones, there are red zones. Now to plan the business around these zones is, is kind of very tough because there's a lot of demand, but supply is being managed very uh, uh, in, in different constraints. And at the same time, when lockdown uh, doesn't happen or, or lockdown opens, the whole planning has to be done in advance because the demand could be very different from what, what it is right now. Government and non-government bodies, uh, very heavy medical sample collection is happening. Airline a moment is restricted, but it will change as we move forward. Uh, testing labs, hospitals, housing welfare, welfare associations, all these different government bodies, bodies and non-government bodies are working very differently. And their planning is very, very exhaustive based on the situation we are in because of limited movement across different locations and different cities. Transportation is backbone of, of every country and so is with India. We have schools closed down across India. We have office transportation almost zero. Cab and ride sharing activities are not happening at all. Uh, we only have police patrolling happening and very limited logistics. The whole planning around this is becoming tough day by day because the situation is changing every day. Uh, there are containment zones being announced uh, uh, in every new city or every new location. And the whole planning done today might not uh, stand true for tomorrow. So it has to be very dynamic for, for everybody to make sure uh, that all these activities happen without any uh, issue uh, while we are actually doing it on the ground. IT, ITES. We are, we, most of us are part of IT, ITES. We are working from home. Uh, we are trying to make sure uh, our uh, VIPs are enabled, uh, e-commerce websites are enabled, uh, cloud infrastructure is running and because of which a lot of activities are still happening. We all are impacted in different forms and uh, for IT, ITES, employees are their assets. So it's very important to manage those assets uh, to make sure our businesses are running all the time. Now, as you have seen in the video, there are a couple of use cases that can be addressed by this API to make sure our business runs smoothly. Uh, what very important use case is employee movement. Today, we have thousands of employees sitting at home and working for us. As soon as there is an option of calling them to office, we really need to make sure uh, that we call those guys who are in the safe zone for employees as well as for our customers. So we can imagine a scenario where you plot in your customer addresses, or if you already have lat long, you can plot those lat long. And in return, you can see on the map who all are in containment zone, who all are in red zone, green zone, and so on. And that would lead you to plan the next step that whom do you want to call to office? There would be limited movement, but still you would want the guys who are in the safe zone to come to office and make sure your infrastructure is ready for the same. Similarly, e-commerce and delivery activities. They are, when you get order today, uh, you're not sure whether it is con containment zone where you have to deliver or red zone, and how do you want to manage that? There could be a scenario where you don't want to accept orders from containment zone because the whole exercise of going there will be futile. You need to know that information beforehand. Similarly, when it is uh, grocery, you need to make sure uh, that your uh, your team is prepared to manage the situation and well trained when they are delivering it. Telecom services very very important. You are you are into SIM delivery. A lot of DTH connections are uh, in high demand. Broadband connections are increasing. So you literally go inside the house to install. So your team has to be prepared. You need to make sure that your planning is is meticulous to make sure that all these installations happen on time. Uh, without any risk to your employees as well as to your customers. Courier service, e exactly the same scenario. We have to really go door to door to make sure the important package delivers and without any risk. A lot of these activities are not happening right now, but at the same time, after lockdown, the, these activities will start and you really need to plan uh, to manage all the gaps that we have filled in. There's a lot of uh, backlog and that backlog has to be managed with the new business going forward. In the present scenario, and especially in India, uh, we have uh, in summer service and maintenance plays a very important role. We have water purifier service, we have AC repairs, refrigerator repairs. These are B2C scenario. Then there are B2B, where telecom companies have to manage uh, the services of their uh, telecom network. Railways, again, to manage the maintenance of uh, certain equipments, you really need to make sure your engineers are out there in the safe zone and well-trained and, and well-equipped uh, for them to be risk-free. 
and in order to make sure your services do not stop at any time. Now, to manage all this, there's a lot of data that is required. Now, we already have experienced an uh, app given by government, uh, wherein, as from an individual perspective, we all can really plan uh, where we are uh, and are we safe or not. So, Arogya Setu is an app given by Indian government for an individual to see uh, whether they are in safe zone or not. But that is restricted only to individuals to understand uh, where they are and how far is the nearest person or nearest zone, which could be a risk for them. But when we talk about business, uh, we do not have any information given by government to manage the situation. And that's where my COVID risk uh, data comes into the picture. So there's a lot of data that we are collecting. Uh, you'll be surprised to know there are more than 400 cities under containment zone. Uh, we have more than 50 people working 24 hours collecting the data, processing the data to be consumed in a geospatial format uh, and to make sure that we keep updating systems every four hours. So, and in India, the data is available in a very scattered format. It's not just, you know, single straight dump. We are working with central government. We are working with uh, state government. Then it goes to municipality where they have their own uh, ways to manage the situation and they are making it more stringent. So get that information, 24 hours is, is a humongous task. And that's what we are trying to achieve and make sure uh, our customers are able to manage business with the right data in place. And most importantly, data accuracy is, is the key in this scenario. We have building level data accuracy as far as, uh, as far as containment areas and containment zones are concerned. Now, all this all the, all the, all the solution and the API I just mentioned can be managed by you if you take API from us or it could be managed with a solution like Smart Market, uh, which has a lot of functionalities and a lot of inbuilt data. Uh, I would request Pranav to help us go through Smart Market demo and talk about uh, the capability of Smart Market and a small demo on how COVID Risk API can enable your business uh, to make sure you have a risk-free business sustainers and continuity. Uh, over to you, Pranav. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ankush, for the insightful presentation. Now, I'd re I would request Pranav to go ahead and start with the demo, uh, short demo session that we have arranged for our audience today. Yeah, thanks, uh, Mansur. Thanks, Ankush. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, this is Pranav. So, uh, so I manage the product side of Smart Market Solution. So, as Ankush was mentioning, uh, uh, smart market is a location intelligence platform for you to do analysis on geospatial data sets. Uh, it can be used for different use cases like uh, location intelligence for business expansion. It could be used to identify demographic breakup in an area. It could be used to find out what is the footfall in a region or it could be used to uh, analyze the affluence level in a location. So different use cases uh, are there across across uh, different industries. So for example, one common use case is catchment analysis, where uh, where user can basically figure like pinpoint some points and then figure out like what what is the demographic breakup of people living around that point in a catchment. Catchment could be something like a driving time polygon or driving distance, or it could be just a circular buffer as as described in these images so these so the platform enables you to basically uh, uh, do risk analysis uh, uh, over the platform in addition to the other use cases i mentioned so specifically the apis uh, that are being offered by the platform include getting risk status for a point or an address getting risk status for a route based on an origin destination or for a path uh, it is also support for bulk points and routes where you can upload a file and then get the corresponding results for the status for each of the points or routes within that file. And we also have a tile API to get basically map images which can be consumed in any map centric uh, uh, interface that you might have to see the risk zones across India. This platform is basically uh, uh, using big data processing framework to crunch all the geospatial data sets. Uh, it is hosted completely in the cloud. Uh, so the APIs as well as the web applications have very high reliability and performance. APIs support very high throughput and minimal latency. 
and the web application is built using cutting edge technology stack so i'll just uh, when i show the demo so i'll i'll be able to describe it much better so i'll switch to the demo now so uh, this is the uh, interface of the application where we have uh, different options at the top with uh, so basically different kinds of geospatial analysis can be done as i mentioned catchment analysis is there some standard gis analysis like intersection merging difference union these are there in addition to it we have added this covid risk analysis also we have some predefined layers available within that uh, application within the solution including state district pin code boundaries we have different points of interest data uh, we have city level boundaries we have different variables including demographic data telecom data point of interest data and for advanced dashboarding we have different kinds of widgets including histogram widget summary widget filter widget so i will start off with the covid layer so uh, i have just one click option here to basically enable the uh, covid layer over the map and i can immediately see across india this whole uh, map is divided into different colored regions uh, based on the risk i can click over any location to get the risk at that location so this is giving me uh, uh, that district charu is coming in a uh, uh, high risk zone if i try to zoom further i'll see that i also have different uh, blue colored regions these are basically containment zones containment zones that uh, ankush was uh, talking about so these are basically like very like, complete lockdown state so this these could be at locality level it could be at building level so uh, so as you can see we have like the government defined different categories of locations are there uh, the yellow zones green zones red zones and blue zones i can then uh, put my own data over this and uh, do risk analysis over those points so as i was mentioning here we have added a covid risk analysis option where i can upload a file in a specific uh, format so i'll upload a csv file that is containing uh, a different locations so once i upload that the application basically plots those points and it immediately colors them based on the risk that different points are in so you can see these red points uh, are those coming in the red region green yellow ones and the blue points are those coming in the catchment uh, so containment zones i'll just hide this risk layer for more clarity yeah so i can hover over any of these points to again get the uh, risk of that specific point so uh, taking a simple use case so these could be my stores for example i have different stores across across new delhi region so i can immediately see like which of the stores are coming in which risk zone i have different widgets available here i can add a filter widget which will uh, which will allow me to further drill down into different stores so for example i want to see only those stores in the containment zone so i apply that filter and it immediately shows me like these five stores that i have are coming in containment zone so uh, those will not be like i cannot open them immediately so this will need to be remain closed so i have different kinds of filters for different uh, parameters available to me i can then try to also uh, see the distribution of these different stores so uh, i add a count widget here on the right side you can see that uh, total 50 points have been uploaded so in the 50 stores that i uploaded five are like 10% are coming in this blue region which is the containment zones uh, almost all of them 82% of them are coming in the uh, dark red region and like mostly uh, the only few four points are there which are coming in green or red regions so this gives me a like geospatial distribution trend of uh, different stores across uh, the points that i have uploaded now i can further focus on these containment zone stores and i can do further analysis on it so i want to see like what is the impact of of these stores remaining closed in the containment zone so i can create a catchment around these uh, stores so from catchment i mean i can select for example these two stores and now 
catchments are being created of 15 minute driving time so which means it will show me basically this is the region from where people could have come into this store uh, uh, in 15 minutes of driving time so this catchment shape that you see is basically the serving area of those two stores i can further uh, then go on to see what is the demographic distribution of 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 the people living in those uh, two catchments so i've added two variables population count and household count so i have a lot of different variables as i was mentioning earlier we have telecom data we have uh, demographic data so here demographic data analysis we can do and uh, on adding the variable i'll be able to see like uh, uh, what is the population count what which is living in that area what is the household count uh, in that catchment so this point level analysis uh, uh, i've shown further we can uh, also do route analysis on the application where you can select an origin and destination and it will show you like which are the which is the part of the route that is coming in uh, coming within catchment zone which is coming in the red region similarly analysis over polygons can be done so if you have a uh, if you have a region served by a store you can see which part of that uh, region is coming within catch, uh, containment zone and which part of it is coming within red zone so uh, so overall uh, you can use the capabilities of the platform to do uh, uh, covid risk analysis as well as other kinds of geospatial analysis so this platform in addition to the uh, the covid risk data is 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 offering other data sets also uh, it is it contains telecom data which has data sets like uh, handset prices uh, subscriber types different age groups of subscribers international roaming status it has leptons on the uh, demographic data also which includes household count gender administrative boundaries points of interest employment status land use so these different different data sets can be collated along with covid risk data to basically gain deeper insights into different uh, 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 locations so uh, so that is it from my side mansoor i would uh, hand over to you to take it forward thank you pranav thank you very much for the uh, demo now i would uh, request mr uh, ankush to tell something about the organization and also take up your uh, q and a's question and answers uh, in the meanwhile i would also request you all to kindly type in your queries in the q and a window so that mr ankush can answer them uh, mr ankush can you please uh, start uh, yeah sure can you hear me yes perfect so thanks thanks pranav thanks mansoor uh, uh, wanted to give a quick overview of leptin uh, so that you know whom you know uh, a bit of our background so we are a 25 year old organization we are into map business for 25 years we have been collecting data creating data uh, for a lot of map companies and at the same time we have a lot of map based solutions wherein uh, we address a lot of use cases couple of use cases we have mentioned right now uh, which is primarily around covid and managing business to this covid api and solution uh, at the same time we work with telecom companies we work with fmcg retail banking almost all the verticals uh, addressing various business problem where location is is the backbone so if you want to open a new store a new location uh, you want to uh, manage you want to understand the demography importance for a particular reason uh, we have different solution for that similarly for telecom we do a lot of network planning uh, inventory management solutions around managing the whole business across telecom engineering and non engineering uh that's our forte and that's what we have been doing for the last 25 years out of if you take any vertical out of top 5 companies at least 3 are our customers and uh they are growing with us uh with our solutions uh being used very exhaustively uh, with, with various departments whether it is engineering sales or marketing uh, we can get in touch and and discuss more on on our background but i would like to address couple of queries which people have asked uh uh one common question being asked is whether this is india specific or we have data for different countries yes covid uh risk api at the moment is 
for India. We are uh, expanding it in multiple countries going forward. But at the same time, we have another risk API which manages uh, natural disaster, po political issues and stuff. And the same is being used by uh, multiple customers uh, where we have done global implementation. So we can discuss that in detail uh, one to one. Uh, another question being asked is how frequently the data gets updated. Uh, we we are updating this data every four hours. Uh, and that's the reason uh, we have more than 50 people working on data collection and data processing to make sure we deliver this every four hours. So data gets updated uh, at the back end every four hours. And as you consume API, you have almost real time data. Uh, I think a couple of I have seen a couple of questions where pe people have asked for data being shown for their city. I would request you to share your contact details and we'll do one to one demo and show uh, data specific to your city. Uh, mm, OK, so smart market is a soft software that needs to be installed or online tool where we can directly access the tool. OK, that's a good question. So smart market is uh, is an online tool. Uh, it, is, it, it, is, it is on SaaS model. You can do a lot of things with smart market, not only from COVID API perspective. There's a lot of data at the back end. There's demography data, the lifestyle, lifestyle data. We have partnership with Vodafone Idea. There's telecom data that comes handy. So as you use the system, you can do a lot of analysis along with COVID, COVID API being integrated here. At the same time, you can have COVID API separately if you have solution, uh, map solution, if, uh, wherein you can uh, consume geospatial data. You can just have an API, and then you can uh, get this rolling uh, as early as uh, tomorrow. Uh, can you please share the demo? Yes. Uh, so just get in touch with us uh, and we will share demo license and the documentation for you to test the same in your environment. Mm, very helpful demo. Could you also help us understand the granularity of the information available? So uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, as far as data is concerned, it is to the last mile. I mean, uh, let's say if you talk about containment zone, we have building level data. And as the data is being released by government, the, we are consuming that as it is with the same granularity. Mm, how can we import data in apps and which data format are supported? Okay, so we will, I think uh, all the technical queries will get into a bigger discussion. What we'll do is we'll try to address those one to one. Uh, but as I mentioned, uh, if you take API, uh, API can be directly consumed in your application. Uh, and then uh, there is no other integration required. So we have API documentation also available. Uh, we can share separately with you. And then you can do testing, and then you'll be good to go. If you do not have any application where API can be consumed, then you then we can uh, then you can have smart market as a complete solution, as a SaaS SaaS based solution. Uh, a lot of functionalities are inbuilt, which you which you just saw, and then there's much more to this. If there is a customization required for a specific use case, we'll we'll help you do that. But, but because it's a platform uh, and not and and not a you know a hard coded product, a lot of configuration and customizations can be done really quickly. What will be the pricing of COVID risk API? So we have a price sheet. Uh, do share your contact details. We'll quickly get on a call with you and then uh, you know share uh, the price sheet with you. Uh, it has it has volumetric uh, pricing, and then based on the size of the organization, based on how much volume you would uh, you you would be consuming, there's inbuilt discount already there, and you can you can consume the same. Mm. What is the source of collecting data? So okay, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have, we are working with uh, all the government agencies whether it is uh, state government or going up to the municipality level, uh, we are collecting data from them uh, in almost real time. And we are processing it to uh, to make sure our system is always updated. So it is directly coming from government. There is no other source uh, anyhow at the moment. I think yeah, most of the questions are around the same. Uh, if you have any further question in case, I missed any question, please feel to uh, contact us, write us an email, and we'll make sure each and every one of you uh, get the answer. We'll, we would love to get on a call with you and discuss uh, one on, one on, 101 uh, specific to your use case.
I think most of the questions are around pricing uh, and we'll be happy to share uh, pricing with you and details on how this can be consumed in your environment. Thank you all. Uh, thanks thank a lot. Uh, yeah. Thank and you, thank you Andrew, sir, uh, for, the, uh, for answering to all the queries of our uh, clients. I would request the audience to kindly fill up a small feedback form for us so that we can improve our future uh, sessions and uh, it will help us to give more informative sessions to you in uh, the next uh, ne in the future also uh, many of uh, of you are requesting us to share the contact details so i have uh, i'm just sharing the email id on which you can write to us and uh, there are also requests for a, a lot of requests for the demo and the pricing sheets to be shared so you can write to us at uh, at the below uh, at the mentioned email id marketing at leptonsoftware.com i'm also mentioning this email id in the uh, q a window you can save this and you can reply back to us on this email id and we will be also sharing the recording of this session with all of you over your email uh, from which you have registered and i hope this uh, session was uh, very insightful for you and it would have uh, helped you answer a lot of questions yeah, and queries that you would have had regarding this uh, particular solution of Lepton software. So uh, again, I would like to thank Mr. Ankush and Mr. Pranav for the presentation and the demo. And finally, thank you all the audience who have come in and attended this session. Looking forward for your attendance in our next session. Thank you, have a great day ahead. Goodbye, stay safe.